Hi friends, so uh, we continue with the topic where we are looking at symmetry and in this video we are looking at the order of rotational symmetry order of rotational uh, symmetry now under the order of rotational symmetry we are told a shape or an object has rotational symmetry if the rotated image looks like the original shape of an object. This is the object or this is the shape. It is like this. If I rotate this one, I rotate it like this. This is the rotation. It has been rotated. It will still look exactly as the way it was in the first place. I mean the object itself. When you rotate it, it looks exactly as the... I mean the image looks exactly as the object was. That is the meaning of uh, the rotation of object. Then you are saying the order of rot uh, rotational symmetry is the number of times that a shape can be turned to fit exactly unto itself within 360 degrees. Every shape has one order of rotational symmetry of at least one. Okay? Uh, we are saying... The order of rotation, so I'm talking about the order now. The order of rotation of symmetry is the number of times that a shape can be turned. Like this shape here. It can be turned like this. Again, turned like this. Okay, you turn it like, it was like this, I turn it like this. Then I come again, I turn it like this. Then again, I turn it like this. Okay, it will form a... A 360 degrees. Then we are told that every shape has an order of rotation or symmetry of at least one. So every shape, every shape has at least one order of rotation. Let's look at the example. So we have that triangle which has got one, one angle marked A. So this triangle can be rotated like this. The first rotation will be, by the way, this is an equilateral triangle, meaning all the sides are equal. It means that all the sides are of the same. So this triangle will be like this. Our A will, will come here, meaning we have rotated it like this. This is the first rotation, meaning the second rotation, the A will come there, so it will be like this. We still have this. Then we have uh, we have our A here. How did it rotate? It rotated like this. Then uh, what will be our third? Our third rotation now. Our A now will come there on top, meaning it has rotated like this. It has formed, it has gone back to its original position. It has gone back to its original position. This means that it has rotated uh, a 360 degrees. The full rotation, it is equal to 360 degrees. Let us go to another example. Another example as I'm going to lab this one. And that one is example one. Now we go now to example number two. But before we go to example number two, on the same example number one, our summary can be, can be that. An equi, equilateral. Equilateral triangle. 
triangle has has a rotation rotation or symmetry symmetry of 3 so the rotation of symmetry of an e, that equilateral triangle it is a 3 because we are the three triangles which were rotated or the images three images which were formed from the original triangle we could have to a triangle which we had under example number one now let's go to example number two let's go to example number two example number two we have uh, a lack a rectangle so how will this rectangle be rotated it is the same as when I showed you this. How did we rotate this? This side here, it came exactly to the other side. So it will rotate, it will be like this. Our A will come this side. So this means that we have rotated it from here. Where the A was, we have gone up to there. Our A will come there. Then from there, we are going to have another rotation. We again we rotate it. So it will be like this. Our A will come there. So again, it has rotated going to its original. What is the meaning of this? So in summary, we can say, therefore, therefore, A rectangular rectangular or a rectangle a rectangle has a rotation rotational rotational symmetry symmetry of of two i mean rotational symmetry Order. order of two rotational symmetry of order two okay rotational symmetry of order two so this is what we have and this marks the end of our lesson and we'll continue with the other lessons which is lesson number three under the same topic. Thank you so much.